In May of 2011, the Space Shuttle Endeavour touched down at the Kennedy Space Center, concluding its 25th trip into space. Since then, the orbiter has been undergoing preparations for public display at a California museum. From STS-49 in May of 1992 until STS-134 19 years later, Endeavour's crews completed 25 missions, flying more than 122 million miles, totaling 299 days in orbit. During Endeavour's final flight, the astronaut crew delivered the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer to the International Space Station. The device is now used to search for unusual matter in space by measuring cosmic rays. Since Endeavour's return to Kennedy in June of 2011, work has been ongoing to prepare the spacecraft for display at the California Science Center in Los Angeles. One of the final steps in preparation took place on August 10th in Bay 2 of the Orbiter Processing Facility when closeouts of the shuttle were completed. Appropriately, the last person out of Endeavour was Kennedy Space Center Director Bob Cabana. A former astronaut, he commanded Endeavour on one of the most crucial missions of the shuttle's 30-year history. During that flight in 1998, the first American-built element was delivered to the International Space Station. Once out of the shuttle, Cabana joined United Space Alliance technicians in sealing Endeavour's hatch for the final time. Less than a week later, Endeavour backed out of its processing hangar and headed to the Vehicle Assembly Building, swapping places with sister spaceship Atlantis. On August 16th, Endeavour left the Orbiter Processing Facility and Atlantis was moved out of the Vehicle Assembly Building. Along the way, both shuttles stopped for a nose-to-nose -nose photo opportunity. Scores of Kennedy employees and news media were on hand to take pictures during the activity. Endeavour now is ready for a September 17th ferry flight. Once on display at the California Science Center, it will represent the shuttle program's legacy and inspire future generations of space explorers. The schedule calls for Endeavour to be mounted atop the shuttle carrier aircraft, a specially modified Boeing 747, for the September 17th ferry flight across the country to its new home in Los Angeles. In the meantime, work will continue to prepare the shuttle Atlantis for its move later this year to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, where it too will be on display for years to come.
Space Shuttle Endeavor lifted off into the Florida skies on the power of a modified 747 to begin a new mission of inspiration. The Shuttle Carrier Aircraft, or SCA, will carry Endeavor across the southern United States over two days to Los Angeles. Endeavor will go on display at the California Science Center in late October. The pair will make a flyover of NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi and the Michoud Assembly Facility near New Orleans before stopping at Johnson Space Center, home of NASA's Mission Control. The SCA is the same converted airliner that launched Enterprise on a series of gliding tests in 1977. Since then, the SCA has been used to carry shuttles back to Florida after a landing at California's Edwards Air Force Base. That heritage will not go unnoticed as the SCA and Endeavour will make an overnight stop at Edwards before they go to Los Angeles International Airport. The ferry flight will be the last of the shuttle era. Shuttle Discovery is already on display at Washington DC's National Air and Space Museum and Shuttle Atlantis will be shown at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's flight to Washington garnered great public attention as people who had not seen a space shuttle in the sky stopped traffic to wave and photograph the spacecraft. The same kind of attention is expected for Endeavour as it makes its cross-country journey to its new home.